Okay, the furnace is off. So I can give you a little quick tour on my vermenting vermiculture farm here. I've been getting a lot of questions on doing a how to make my container here, my, my vermenting container, which is made out of six gallon buckets. Now, I did do a video that was um, showing all the aspects of an older model that I have here, which is this model here. Inside each one of these buckets, probably hundreds to thousands of worms in each one of these. So I have a bunch of different individual farms going at once. And the problem with my older model, first of all, it required two buckets, which I have a ton of buckets, so it didn't really matter. But um, I really did want to just do it with one bucket so it would streamline it even more. And uh, Some of the worms were escaping to the bottom bucket. They weren't getting out of the container, but for a system that was pack it and leave it, I didn't want to have to keep looking at the bottom of the bucket. Whatever you do, folks, and I've said this in other videos, do not buy buckets. These buckets, similar buckets, are being thrown away every day um, by the thousands and just being incinerated into the, our, our, the way we bring our bulk trash in these big dumpsters. These just go to incinerating plants and they're just burnt. They're used like maybe one time to carry whatever they're carrying and then after that it's just um, burnt. So they're used once. And these are, again as I've said in other videos, these are food grade and they're 90 millimeters thick. Whereas the Home Depot, the Walmarts, and the Lowe's buckets are 70 meters thick, millimeters thick. And if you can certainly see the difference here. Now this is my the last of my older model here, this one here. And right here I have what I call palm, personal organic matter, palm. And um, this I put, put like 2,000 worms in this palm bucket. And as you can see, I have all kinds of different things that I am fermenting at, at any given time, from uh, roadkill to um, palm, to my ordinary um, composting scraps. Everything is rolled. rolled in a composting roll. That is the key. The perfect nitrogen carbon combination. Really? Doing a how-to video on how to make these containers. I just want to make sure it works first. And here is the older model that definitely does work. I, I finished this palm um, at the beginning of the month. It's the end of October. This one I packed in early October, okay? And right now we're going to take a quick look on what's inside of this palm fermenting process, which I feel holds so many um, possibilities for urban farming and for getting rid of our, for each person's palm, personal organic matter, palm, all right? That's, you know, we t I want to credit this video also to Joseph Aikens, right, from the Humanoid Handbook, where I get a lot, I get a lot of information from that awesome book and also I want to thank him for just bringing it to the public knowledge that our human which we totally don't, don't want to call it waste because it's not waste when you start going to the bathroom in carbon or like um, Joseph does it you start to really appreciate that aspect of what we have to do every day and it's not gross guys for those who think it's gross you need to do an internet search and I'll add a link below um, of what we do with when we just easily flush the toilet and out goes our our number twos as we call waste at that time because it's gone and all the stuff that it needs to do to be um, made clean again and come back to us in the form of drinking water so imagine that if anything that is gross and to this to Jenkins credit we got a hand to him for being one of the first I think to talk about this and to try to bring it to the everyday people. And I'm going to show you all kinds of different ways that I um, process my palm. But here is one that I did at the beginning of the month. This is not even a month old. And let me tell you something. The Reds love palm. They love my palm anyway. They love your palm. Um, and it's one of the easiest things I've fermented. Again, I ferment roadkill, all kinds of different things. My own dog output, I uh, ferment. I don't want to say waste. I'm trying to avoid the word waste because it really is a tab word when we're fermenting or composting our organic matter. So let's do, a, let's do an inside look at what a 2,000, maybe a little more than 2,000 worms I added to this fermenting container. Let's take a look inside. Now there's about 20 
to 25 personal organic matter rolls or palm rolls inside this container. I should be seeing these rolls by now, but I just feel worm castings. And I dug halfway down the bucket and, and it's not quite done yet. This, this fermenting process just started um, the 3rd of October. It's not even, the end of October isn't here, even here yet. And I'm finding no residuals of my personal organic matter or palm. So this is amazing in its own right. And I will be opening this in about another week, week and a half. I promise I will be doing a video to show how to make the Eve fermenting containers. Here, you can make these containers if you have the bucket for under a dollar, easily under a dollar. I'm going to show you how to do that. So anyways, this is, this is basically the, how it works. All the liquid comes and drops here with the Eve fermenting method there's very little liquid because just the right carbon and just the right nitrogen is gets you very little um, I think one full fermenting session here which five to eight weeks um, depending how many worms you use and what you're actually fermenting it depends on how long it takes so this particular unit probably will use a whole bottle it's by done. in that time house compost um, palm personal organic matter goes very quickly if you add enough worms and that is going to be key in the world to come as far as getting rid of our own organic matter and reusing it into awesome soil amendments okay that's all I have for this please stay tuned for my fermenting how-to video that I'm looking so forward to sharing and open sourcing so we can start getting more people open sourcing this fermenting concept that I feel will be an amazing asset for urban farmers and for people living off the grid, people who live in RVs and boats um, and wondering what to do with their personal organic matter. I think fermenting is the key. You get yourself some of these reds and um, you start having a whole system here. As you can see, this is, and I'm, I'm, um, so much of experimenting with all kinds of different things, but if it was just me personally, um, I could probably get away with six fermenting canisters um, a year as you rotate them around. And I'll be talking more about that. And it's fermenting, you can retrofit any container, food grade hopefully, any container um, for fermenting. You can retrofit, just like I say with the Eve growing concept, you can retrofit any. Um, container for Eve growing. Same is true with e Eve Vermenta, fermenting. I've been fermenting my poom for a year and a half now with amazing results. And I tell you what, once you, you, once you put your matter into a carbon, you will find it hard to f just flush it away once you understand the importance of it. And I hope, to hopefully one day we'll all understand the importance of it, because we have to. There's no reason why we can't be more proactive in our own organic matter. It's just a matter of teaching people. That's all I have to say for now. Subscribe if you like. Friend me on Facebook, and we'll literally grow up together. That's all I have to say for now. God bless. Over now.